Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Foot birthday trading methods is what we're going to be talking about today. I want to talk about these new foot birthday cards and also last week's set one. Talk about maybe the movements we'll see for these cards this week and how I'm feeling it right now. And some of the movements that we saw today as well. There was a lot of interesting movements on these cards. And uh, also talk about some of the weekend league sell-off because we're starting to see some of the weekend league sell-off in certain areas of the market. And I kind of want to cover that with you guys as well. Uh, first example of that would be this Furland Mendy. I just saw this card on Footbin. Uh, is kind of getting down low. And, and it makes sense, right? Watch for the panic selling this week. Not, not, not panic selling, but the sell-off on weekend, like 705. This guy was like 750 uh, at a point this weekend. He's a French CDM, right? And think about French CDMs that just came into the game. We have Pogba as a French center mid. And of course, we had Bakioko and objectives. So... Um, watch, watch the sell off this week on like the French center defensive mids on the icons on the cards that are in, you know, the, maybe the 400, like Conte probably get hit in price a little bit. And then also watch the center backs that are French. Just watch center back sell off that, that are French cards, uh, because you might see a little bit extra sell off with those from the weekend league as people go out and try some of these, but Bakioka for sure is definitely taking a hit on that Furland Mendy price, at least a little bit extra the extra than normal for a weekend league sell-off but the weekend league sell-off is kind of starting to happen i'm monitoring a few cards uh some out of packs cards that are that are low this Havertz, like literally right now this Havertz card is 400 000 coins um and i actually bought one just now at 399 um and this is honestly crazy to me because this guy i sold him literally um like 12 hours ago Literally this morning, I sold this card for 455,000 coins, and this is the most used foot birthday card in terms of games played from set one. So uh, I know this card is out of packs. I know that he's freshly out of packs. Uh, I don't feel like he's overvalued though, and a lot of people want to use him. He, he links to the new Da Costa card that came out. He links to the Bellarabi objective that a lot of people did. You can make a nice little trio with uh, Da Costa, Bellarabi, and Havertz. Um, so, and even Eg Eggstein, the new center mid from for birthday two. So maybe this guy at 400 K, you know, there is the possibility for the guaranteed foot birthday SBC coming later this week. But, uh, some of this weekend league sell-off stuff, sometimes it just gets too low and it actually pops up in the middle of the week because it especially has the opportunity to do that now, as there's a lot of people on the game. So sometimes like Saturday nights and Sunday nights, we see some of the lowest prices, on some of these cards out of packs that are on weekend league sell-off just because they are you know people are on this game and they're playing during the week they're doing objectives and they're doing stuff like that so i want to talk about these cards today because they took another hit in price i want to talk about douglas costa as well as you can see a lot of these guys are down um because of the lighting rounds today a number one and of course uh, uh number two is the weekend league sell-off is starting to happen these guys were not going to be their cheapest on day one, as I talked about yesterday, because there wasn't a bunch of packs opened in the first couple of hours. There weren't the saved packs opened this week that there were last week for some of these cards. So that's why you're seeing them drop. Some of these drops, though, are making me a bit intrigued. Lacazette. Lacazette this morning was 1.4 mil. I saw him last night at 1.28 on an undercut. He went back up to 1.4. So, so the flipping was possible on some of these cards from Friday into Saturday. Not a lot of them, but the upper tier high range, uh, like Lacazette and Di Maria specifically, worked the best. Um, and he's now down under 1.2. So if you see this guy drop, you know, th this is pretty low for this card. I know that we're having more lightning rounds coming today on Sunday. At least I think we are. For set one, they ran lightning rounds on Sunday. I believe they'll do it for set two as well. So I would expect these guys to drop down a little bit more, but there's a possibility you could flip these guys into the morning on Sunday if they just get too low tonight because they dropped a ton, man. Like I could see this guy being back to 1.23, 1.24, or even 1.25 on Sunday morning. So just keep an eye out on that if it gets to be like super crazy low. Same thing with Di Maria. Um, he's dropped a lot today as well. And of course the five-star weak foot makes this card so much more usable than in years past he went also to I, I i sold one at 139 this morning i bought it at 127 basically I, I flipped it right here according to the graph 127 up to 139 is where i got my sale and he, he was 1.2 most of the day and now he's down to 1.16 so a lot of downturn on these cards on the market at the moment 
Is it done yet? You know, it's hard to say. It's, it's always risky trying to mess around with these cards that are in packs, right? Like the Di Maria, like the Lacazette, even though they're hyped up, even the Bale, uh, it, it's always a little bit risky messing around with these cards because you just never know. That There's always that 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 sort of risk. Wow, 115. There's always that sort of risk with promo cards because they're, they're still in packs, right? They're still in packs. There's still a possibility that EA you know, could drop some pack supply SBCs out. They could um, change the pack weight. They could drop a big time SBC that um, makes people go and sell these cards to go complete that SBC. The, all of that stuff could happen this week. And so it's kind of hard to really give you guys a time where it's like, okay, here, now, now is when you go buy these cards, especially considering a lot of people are talking about that guaranteed but birthday SBC coming later this week. Some people think it's a guarantee that it's coming. I don't know that it's coming yet, but the fact that a lot of people are uh, thinking that it will come does make me intrigued. So if you want to try any of these foot birthday cards, my recommendation for you would be if EA doesn't drop any big time SBCs this week, buy, look, look at them starting today on Sunday, watch their prices during the lighting rounds and Sunday night during squad battle rewards. And there might be a window a time frame window in there where you might see these guys like her Theo Hernandez is 400k right now he was 490 last night maybe he drops down to like 360 or 370 for a short bit tomorrow night after the new lightning rounds and after squad battle reward supply and then you might see a bit of a rise into Monday Tuesday that's a possibility if there's no big SBCs th these guys might hit a low on Sunday night and kind of especially for the high tier range Lacazette, Di Maria, Bale, Pogba and maybe Costa and Van Dyke. The guys that you know are pretty rare on the market that a lot of people want to try because of their weak foot upgrades. We saw this last week with Team One. Um, now Team One kind of just continually rose, but they were a little bit lower and then they kind of rose into the week a little bit. If you, if you look at the prices on some of these cards, they rose a little bit into the week because people were just trying them out and, and using them. And I think there's a bit of that uh, with these cards in this team as well. There's, there's a possibility for that this week. Now. The guaranteed foot birthday SBC. A lot of people are going to start talking about that. And I think this could go either one of two ways. If you remember that this happened, happened with the shapeshifters earlier this year in FIFA, like about a month ago, right? So this is what happened. It, it, it's not going to show it here on the graph. But Vinicius Jr., the guaranteed shapeshifter SBC, which I don't really know if we were expecting that SBC. The SBC was put into the code late overnight um uk time so it was like 3 4 a.m uk time like evening time for me in the us this vinicius was like 460 470k while he was in packs it was the thursday before they went out of packs this guy went people saw the code and they thought these cards were going to get panic sold and they thought they were going to drop this guy went from 460 to 400k flat and then rebounded back to 500k almost in a matter of one day's time frame because it was thursday rewards day too so if we see that happen again that's that's scenario number one with these foot birthday cards i think there's going to be some panic selling because of the guaranteed foot birthday sbc and that might be our time to buy them but is there going to be a little bit earlier panic selling because people are, are already talking about this guaranteed foot birthday sbc what's it going to require what, you know what is it going to cost stuff like that it's not even guaranteed that it's going to be coming yet. So that's why I'm taking a cautious approach and saying that if you're going to try out any of these foot birthday players, check their prices uh, on Sunday night as possibly your buy time. Look at them on Sunday night and, and kind of watch them even now. Watch them in these next couple days. But then I think I would get out Tuesday um, if there hasn't been a, been a big SBC that's it's caused a lot of panic selling because I think there could be some more you know downturn on Wednesday and whenever day we get that SBC in the code, which I would imagine would be Wednesday night is when we would get the foot birthday guaranteed SBC pack in the code. Then the SBC would come out on Thursday and we would be heavily, heavily watching the panic selling as that would be like the best time, most likely um, to pick up some of these foot birthday players. So that's just one thing to think about with the foot birthdays and those cards this week. Uh, but if you want to try one for your team, I think your best time is, is today during, you know, maybe the squad battles time, kind of like right now it's evening. They kind of get low in the evening. Anyway, people are finishing the weekend league and stuff. There's a lot of people playing weekend league this weekend. And you could tell that by the massive buy that we had, um, after lighting rounds on Friday, 
like that Havertz, you just saw my transfer list was 455,000 coins. And again, uh, this guy right now is looking a lot, not panic sold, but a lot of weekend league sell-off action is happening on specific cards in the market. He's 411K. I actually just bought one and put it on my transfer list at 399. Uh, and I can show you that for proof because I have the proof. But um, like this to me, I think this is just too low, bro. I really do just think this is too low. So watch out for some of this stuff. Like I was talking about Shapeshifter Mendy, right? I think this is getting a bit low. This Cristiano Ronaldo, he flipping just clocked in his price at 2.23. So basically somebody undercut it because he's 2.32 right now. Somebody listed at 2.23. Uh, somebody undercut by 100,000 coins. I think you're going to see some stuff like this around the market. I'm especially intrigued with Shapeshifters. Uh, I know this guy is down because of, of the, the Bakayoko and stuff. But this Furlan Mendy, you know, he links to the new bail. Uh, he's French. He links to like all the guys in the promo team. There's a lot of French cards going around right now. Uh, I know Bakayoko is, is out in the game, but uh, that if that stuff starts to get too low, that is a major, uh, a major point on this game to be looking at for just stuff that gets too low. And how do you know that it's too low? You kind of just have to use your best judgment and use the graph, right? Use the graph to kind of help you figure out when stuff is just getting too low based on how high it's been and how low it's gone. 700k this weekend the man he would he was 600 if if i saw him at like 685 that would to me would be too low because he would he was 740k this weekend what did he hit as a high he was 730 all day what about friday 750 750 so i mean if you see this guy at like 685 that's getting too low for me all of these cards are super rare to begin with trent alexander arnold is another good example of somebody who's getting low right only 200,000 coins he was 220 at some points on the weekend. Now he's down to back under 200K. That's pretty low for me, right? That's pretty low. But just be careful with this stuff, right? I mean, this guaranteed foot birthday SBC is going to have a lot of people starting to sell stuff later in the week if it does come out and if it's rumored to come out because that's going to be an expensive SBC people are going to have to sell stuff for. And it's also going to be on the day of Thursday rewards if that pack does get put into the code. So we're going to be watching that very closely. But if you do want to do some trading this week, um, look for just the open bids, like especially tonight uh, and to, like Saturday night, Sunday night, as we're coming out of squad battery or out of weekend league, look for the open bids and a possible uptick um, and just deals that you can find on open bids. Look through the past promo teams and watch cards, right? Um, Palacios, 269. I think he's, is he down a little bit because of Eggstein? Yeah, the man was like 300,000 coins and now he's 269, 270. Stuff like this might get hit a little, a little bit harder because of the the cards that came out with this new promo team. A lot of people are talking about this Ikone, right? This guy was 215K um, on Wednesday before rewards and now he's 263 with all the French links. Um, just kind of watch this stuff that's hyped up right now. This stuff will maintain its value pretty well and you will be able to trade with these cards. Uh, even though they're going to be probably falling a little bit in value, you should be able to trade with them. Kamara interests me a lot, actually. Um, this is, again, getting hit by the French center back. But, um, the SAR card, this guy was 136 yesterday at his lowest. What about Friday? What did he go to? Wow, 138. So if I see this guy under 140 again, I'm tempted because he still went to 138 and then rebounded because of weekend league demand. Now, if a lot of people you see are, are selling this card because they're going to do the, the SAR SBC, uh, this guy right here, then I would keep an eye on this and, you know, other French center backs in Ligue 1 because that could be a possible buy and hold situation for the next couple of weeks or maybe even a week because this card's only, only out for a week, this SBC. But yeah, if you're wanting to trade on stuff, look on the open bids because as I go out and I look on the market, I see so many cards listed up on open bid as, as people just go and finish their week in league and they just kind of chuck the card up for sale and like yo i'm done all right like i am done with this card for week in league uh, i just want to get my coins like that's kind of their thinking it happens with icons as well uh it, it definitely happens with icons i don't know i've been watching this best because i'm partially wanting him for my team i need a left wing five three five five two Ooh, whoo. okay dino getting a little bit low there uh, just watch out for the open bids. Seriously. Uh, is there a good filter for this? I don't really think that I look for, for filters in terms of open bids. I just look on a card by card basis. Like I just looked at Kamara, right? 
and I set kind of a buy price for Kamara at like 140. That might be a little bit low because people know to watch the panic on this card now. Um, and there's just a lot of hype around the French. But look at all these open bids, man. Not open bids, but like low bids, right? This guy's a 150,000 coin card. Boom, there's one at 146. There's one at 130. How many open bids can I find for this card at like 140, which is kind of like my, my buy range area? 143. How many open bids do we have? We have to sort through the inform, but boom, we've got one there. Now, this is an out-of-pack special, so we probably won't have too many. You might have more on informs or more, you know, popularly used cards. But um, that's the kind of stuff that I would be doing this weekend. Again, focus on the chemistry styles too. You can do this on, on gold cards. How much is Gold Sun? Is Gold Sun like 110K? Uh, he's 117,000 coins. 117,000 coins. How many open bids do we have on Sun? At like 115 or 110k this is the kind of stuff that you could do you could very easily win this sun on a bid for like 105 and then all of a sudden boom you can quickly quickly flip him at 115 and then chemistry styles again are very important as well because there's some people still playing the weekend league right still playing the weekend league uh human sun with a hunter chem style will probably sell for a little bit more than the the sun without the chem style at 120k we have a few of them here Ooh, 112 that's an undercut right there in itself. Um, but, you know, just kind of keeping mindful of some of these things. And trading with these, you know, it's really, it would seem fun, right? To trade with some of these new cards. Like, I'm really eyeing Lacazette because I know a lot of people are interested in this card. Again, if I saw him at like 115, I might pull the trigger because I think he'll be 125 in the morning. Same thing with kind of like Di Maria. If I saw him at like maybe a little bit lower than 115. 115 honestly isn't bad because this could easily be back to like, you know, one, two, three in the morning. We only have what 60k of tax there. So one 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 two would be a buy price for me on Di Maria if I could snag that 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 bid. Just keep an eye out on the market. This is this is my thing, and this is what I would tell you. This works with icons. This weekend, when you're trading with stuff, there's a lot of people on this game. The SBCs that they are putting out, at least in the past couple days, aren't draining a ton of coins yet. A lot of people did Bergwine. Bia Biani today, eh. Sar, Sar's all right, but he's only 200,000 coins. He's not like a, a, just not breaking the bank, right? Could we see more SBCs this week that are big time? Yes, it's possible. Yes, that could affect the game. But trust in this market with its coins. Trust in the ability that people are going to be on this game, right? We're still locked down with coronavirus stuff. Not a lot of people are getting out. More people are doing FIFA, right? More people are playing this game and on this game. So just trust that the market will be there to buy cards and there's not going to be a big crash. The prices that a lot of stuff went up to this weekend, like we looked at that at Kone, he's 200 and what, 60,000 coins, right? He's like 260,000 coins. 270 ish. This guy probably won't drop too much lower than like 250, right? He, he might not go too much lower than 250 because he's, he's gone up so much. Maybe he goes to like 247, 245 at the very lowest. Um, but he's going, he was 210 K last week. These cards are going to maintain their higher value just because there's more people on the game. They're playing, they're on FIFA. And that means there's just more demand for cards in general in this just crazy time and what's going on with the coronavirus and all that stuff. So don't feel like you're going to lose a ton of coins. If you're buying in these cards to flip, right? Flipping is going to be fantastic this week. Cards with the Hunter chem styles, cards with the Shadow chem styles. I've got some refresher videos on that specific type of trading in the FIFA 20 trading methods playlist um, on this channel. But I wanted to talk specifically about these cards today. Um, these cards are going to fluctuate around in price too. If we don't get lightning rounds today on Sunday, uh, I do think, wow, what? Is Lacazette getting put up? Nah, man. Is this real? Footbin says Lacazette's 1.1 mil. Okay, it's just because they're only showing the first uh, two decimal spots. He's actually 1-2. Yo, that's actually scared me for a second there because I thought this dude was like 1.1 flat and I was, about to, I was about to say, hold up, give me one of those. Um, but yeah, trust in the market's ability for these cards. You're probably going to see a little bit of a drop off. They're not going to drop off all the way from where they were just because there's so many more coins in this game. EA could suck a lot of coins off the market with a big time SBC because... High rated fodder is so high because a lot of people are doing SBCs, uh, but there's just so many people on the game that the demand for all these is just really high. So I need to do these SBCs to get myself some player picks. And then of course, if you want to do the 81 plus upgrades, they're only here for another day. So 
keep an eye on those if you're if you're testing your luck. Just a cheeky plug. I did pack Ronaldo, like Cristiano Ronaldo tonight from one of those. Not on my account, but on a mods account live on the stream. Uh, so that was nuts. But th again, trading this weekend, weekly sell off, look for open bids, look for fluctuations and trust the market. You might not see that big of drop offs. That's why when I saw this Havertz today, down literally 50K from where he was this morning, um, that's why I'm interested. That's why I'm interested in this because this market is staying high. It's going to stay high because people have coins on this game right now in foot. So maybe that was a good buy and now he's kind of going back up. But, um, you know, these are the hype cards, foot birthdays, the new ones, you know, the rare cards like the shapeshifters, the any out of pack special card people of all levels in this game are using right now. And people are buying cards, trying them, putting teams together and stuff like that. So believe in the market and its ability to sustain prices this week when you're flipping cards, all right? That's my little spiel, how you can maybe make some coins and just talking about these foot birthday cards uh, on today's video. Icons as well, they're gonna maintain some decently good prices. Some of the higher tier cards are really dropping off. Some of like the really high level moments and some of these uh, like Ronaldinho is down a little bit today on this weekend league sell off. Um, some of these cards are gonna go a little bit lower because they're just getting packed more and they have more and more supply on the market. Like somebody who, an icon moments who I've watched continually drop over these past couple weeks is Raul. This guy's 1.8 mil. I would not be surprised if you start seeing listings under 1.8 in the next couple days, just because these cards are continually getting supplied on the market and they're not the hot item, right? The foot birthdays are the new hot items on foot. So that's kind of my stuff I'm talking about. These items, again, trust the market. You'll be able to make some coins and be careful if you're trying to live flip some of these impacts for birthday cards. And we'll be monitoring the situation with these cards all week this week and with whatever SBCs and stuff that we do get. So good luck with the rest of your weekend leagues and uh, good luck with trading and stuff too if you're trying to make some coins and especially with upgrade packs if you're hitting those. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.